seagoing voyages uh, and make it look a lot more like it would have looked in 1814, 1815. Right. So this is sort of a re reproduction of what the Tecumseh would have looked like in its prime. Yeah. Yeah, it's more, it's not enough. And it's just been done actually, this is, you guys are some of the first people to see it because oh, right? we only completed the, the uh, remodeling at the beginning of this year. Wow. Yeah. Well, nice timing then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the time for the War of 1812, which apparently wasn't in 1812. That's it. Well, 1812 <laughs> to 1815, arguably. Yeah. Peace was actually signed. The Treaty of Ghent was signed on Christmas Eve, 1814. But news, because it took so long to get news across, it took weeks and weeks and weeks to get that news back across to. to seen a whole lot of red coats, uh, but the 68th um, Marine Detachment was, was between the United States and Great Britain again, uh, and they'd gone back to war. There would have been a crew of somewhere between 30 and 50 sent up here uh, to, to man this, put the rigging back on, put the sails up, and, and bring it back into action again. So you'd have a crew of 50. And on top of that, you would have anyone else who was attached to a particular mission. So diplomats, Indian agents, Marines, uh, like what I'm representing yeah. today. So it could get quite cramped. Yeah. 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 Well, if you look, you see these hooks that are up here. Okay. So this is multifunctional. This room, as well as uh, as well as the the fore section here. Okay. So all of these things. What you would do essentially is you would sling a hammer from here to here. Okay. From here to here. And you can even sling hammocks underneath those 30 to 40 people. Not all of them would be sleeping at the same time, right? About half of them would be on deck, or usually about a third would be on deck. The other two would be, would be either sleeping or doing other things. Uh, so that was, you know, it helped. It meant that, you know, you didn't need quite as many hammocks. Uh, certain men could share hammocks uh, and that kind of thing. So it wouldn't be quite, uh, you know, it wouldn't, you wouldn't have 50 so, view wall yeah, sort of having, yeah, to, having yeah. to sleep. But it was a bit of a negotiation. I mean, when you look at the Admiralty records from the time period, coming in, guys, um, when you look at the uh, Admiralty records from the time period, you look at, you know, the, uh, taking on all these supplies, and they're taking on all this stuff, and they're taking on all these people, uh, and it was just an absolute mess. Um, it would have been an incredible negotiation to try and find room for supplies and personnel and all the things that were required for that particular mission. Uh, you know, ammunition, uh, all kinds of different things like that, and just having the deck space and having the storage space for it all. Um, when I was reading through some of the Admiralty records, it struck me that it was, it sounded like, you know, loading up a small car to go camping, where it's like, where are we going to put the beach ball? Well, let's stick it in between, like, the portable barbecue and, you know, our youngest child. Um, and it just really sort of sounded like that, you know, this yeah. incredible negotiation of all this stuff, especially on an outbound voyage, right? On a return voyage, might be, might be a little bit better, but, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you.